Hey, I'm Drew Russell. I'm a broker associate with Michael Saunders and Company, and I focus on Palmer Ranch real estate, specifically the areas of Silver Oak and Legacy Estates. Here's a quick market update. So when we look back at the first half of 2022, there are three huge changes that have happened in the world that have affected our real estate market in some small way, at least. The first big change is obviously fuel prices and energy prices. If you can remember back thus far, in January, an average price for a gallon of gas in our area was about $3.04. Compare that number to two weeks ago that peaked out at about $4.89 per gallon. Big change. Also. If you think back to January, there was no war in the Ukraine. That started on February 24th of this year and sent markets into turmoil. And perhaps the biggest change, the third one that we face, is interest rates. Thinking back to January, if you wanted to purchase a home, the average interest rate was about 3.2% on January 1st, compared to today, where we're pushing almost 6%, and so rates have almost doubled, which has made buyers a little bit more conservative. We've also seen changes in the equities market that have made cash buyers a little more conservative as well. So that's what's happening in the world, but this is all about you. What's happening in Palmer Ranch right now? So let's get into the numbers and see what's really going on behind the scenes in the market. This first slide I'm gonna show you is for properties up to $1 million in Sarasota going back to January. You'll see that there were 466 available listings in Sarasota County on January 1st, and you will see that number has gone up 203% to over 1,400 in June. We also see a slight decline on the red line of pending sales, which were down 21% in June. This could be seasonality, but I think it's also partly the market slowing. You also see a similar pattern on this slide for homes above $1 million in Sarasota. We see a 106% inventory gain compared to a 34% decline in sales. Is this a reason to panic? Absolutely not. The market is still historically very, very healthy. We are still seeing homes sell for premium prices, but the process is slowing a little bit. Uh, and buyers, I think, are starting to have more choices, and I think that's actually a good thing. If you look at the slide about Silver Oak in particular, you can see our inventory graph. It's hard to read because there's not many homes that have been for sale. In fact, the highest amount of homes for sale in the last year at any one given time in your neighborhood was four, and there were six homes that went under contract last June. Since then, there have only been three sales, two in October, and then one pending sale in June. There are two active listings in the neighborhood right now, one on Bloomfield Boulevard and one on Hunt Club Way. And so overall, not a whole lot of activity in Silver Oak. What I expect to see continuing in luxury homes in Silver Oak and Legacy Estates going forward for 2022 is continued pricing appreciation, but you will see market times lag a little bit longer as the economy kind of sorts itself out and people feel more comfortable with what's going on in equities markets, rates, et cetera, et cetera. So overall, I think the market's very healthy and we actually need more inventory. So prices are looking good and if you're looking to sell, now's a great time. All right, so that's a quick update on what's going on through my eyes in the Palmer Ranch Silver Oak Legacy Estates market. If you'd like to chat more about it, you can reach me at the contact information below, and thank you for watching.